the mill. Now the next battle is going to be rotating this thing after we make our cuts. Um, we'll get creative on that too. I think we're going to have to use a tractor for sure. I don't think our muscles are big enough. Alright, let's uh, get this uh, thing sawed up. First we're going to uh, clamp it down and uh, we'll get a plan of attack on it. we got to figure out something. Show you what's going on here. This end right here is absolutely massive. Um, so I don't think it's going to fit the sawmill. But if we make the cut on the top edge here, I might have to cut some of it with the chainsaw because it's rounded. Should be able to make a you know at least some type of a cut. Take that off. And then if I have to, I can trim these with the, with the chainsaw just to make it happen. Seems like mostly this side here. Take that right off. Alright, we're going to get it clamped up and... Uh, we're going to get it clamped up, ready to go, and uh, we'll start sawing this thing. Big slab right there. It's gonna look nice though. We gotta rotate this thing over so we can, uh, you know, 90 degrees so we can get our next cut.
probably almost trim that an inch or so. If you really wanted to. Make stickers out of it. Something like that. All right. Now we get to rotate this thing one more time. All right, so this is our situation. We got this side of the uh, log here. I don't know if you can see the gap up there. So the bottom's flat, I guess you could say, but it's not a perfect right angle with this side. You can see all these uprights that's supposed to square it off. Um, they're not square. So we're gonna have to shim it on the other side As we got <laughs> some homemade shims, I think they'll work. We'll see. I'm gonna lift it with the tractor and then we're gonna uh, put the shims in, make sure it's square, and then put our, uh, you know, put our locks on. And hopefully that holds it square. We'll get at least two square angles and then we'll rotate it. We'll make sure we get four squares all said and done. But that's the, uh, the battle. That's the battle that we knew we were gonna be fighting with this thing. So uh, we're going to square it up, we're going to shim it, and uh, hopefully we can get a, a perfect right angle between this here side here and the top here, and then work our way around. to hope the vibration doesn't loosen up those wedges that'll be our next uh, situation
17 by 16. We're gonna bring down the 16, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do. Make some two by eights, um, definitely some two by sixes, and then I don't know, maybe some one inch boards. We'll figure it out as we go. Straight forward up to it and just, it. just have it lined up and I'll let it fall into it. Yeah. Want to get in the center? That's good. That's good. I, I can maneuver it on. Hold on, I'll grab that and twist it. I want to move and roll with a dog. Okay, I'm gonna push on this one.
the way uh, white pine saws out, comes out awesome. Square, true, usually doesn't warp or twist. Running out of fuel here. Pretty sad when it probably costs five bucks to fill this tank. <laughs> oh well, at least we get gas. stack these and uh, stick them so we're running out of room in the mill here Two inches. I'm overhanging about two inches. From that that board that's underneath it. Really? All right, give me an inch. Um, we kind of cut these to the two by eight, so in case we need a board here or there, we can kind of mix them in the uh, in the mix. You know what I mean? With, between the spruce and the fir. So. And also, we got some uh, the slab wood. We can still get some boards out of that. I mean, there's still a couple of inches of uh, nice nice wood there. Nice solid, solid stuff. So, well, that's it. We get the uh, the big uh, mega log out of the uh, the wood yard here, and we get it cut up into boards. So, uh, it's definitely a success, and uh, it's good to get that out of the way because now I can do all the uh, the smaller uh, logs and stuff. I can manhandle those pretty much myself. Uh, I had the help of my my dad here, but uh, so without him, I wouldn't be able to do it. So. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned. We're going to be building our cabin from scratch and uh, you'll see the process if you uh, follow our channel. See you soon. Take care.